What's up, everybody? Silver Bear here, coming at you once again with pickups from the coin show. This is, uh, they always give you the wooden nickels. I like to keep them. That's fun. So, real quick, I'll start from the, with the junk silver. I got a dollar of Kennedy half dollars, and, uh, or excuse me, two dollars worth of the Kennedys, and a uh, dollar's worth of the Roosevelt dimes. Then I got uh, some silver certificates. These were uh, these were no big deal really, but um, I got these for a dollar fifty a piece. So that's kind of cool. Uh, you could say it's a dollar, or excuse me, a fifty cent premium, right? So that's a pretty good deal, I think, for for what it is. They're not in like any special kind of condition. I just like them for uh, nostalgia purposes. Uh, notice here, if you're not familiar, it says silver certificate. This uh, certifies that there is on, uh, on deposit in the Treasury of the United States of America one dollar in silver payable to the bearer on demand. All right? So that's a promise to pay, and it tells you what it's paying you, which is silver. This is... Um, what our money used to be uh, before the Federal Reserve. So it promised to pay and it told you what it was paying. This is a, basically a receipt and it's also, a, it, this is a document and a contract between the government and the people, right? Uh, that was all done away with after this fellow was shot. So kind of weird <coughs> that they put his name on the... <laughs> Or picture on there so here I have I got this one too from the coin shop no excuse me the coin show this is a, um, a United States note <clears throat> it's a promissory note and if you don't know note anytime there's a note a note is a uh, a note of debt okay this is uh, debt money it still pom promises to pay but it doesn't say what it's gonna pay you it just says five dollars and in this case we know now that the five dollars is dollars of Federal Reserve notes so I don't know how you would trade this in I don't know how they promise to pay you on demand five dollars of nothing right so that's that's our Federal Reserve coming into play uh, let's see then I'll show you this one here this is the first small cent, oops, penny. Is that upside down? Hell yeah, that's upside down. What am I doing? There we go. Okay, this is called the Flying Eagle. This is a, uh, what is it, a 1858? And this is bronze. This is, uh, I believe it's uh, copper and nickel. I don't remember the percentage. So this is not just like your regular copper penny. Um, got a pretty good deal on this, I think. Uh, I, I might have paid a little bit too much for it, but I don't think it was that bad. Over time, when my grandkids get this, it'll be worth it. So, anyway. Then I got this here. This is a foreign coin here from Panama. This is a half Balboa. Uh, he was a, I think he was a conquistador, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. There's something special about him. I, I forgot what the, how the story goes. Uh, I didn't, I know there's a lot of different prices on here, 25 45 and all that, but I actually paid the, the $15 here, so that's pretty good. And this is in really good shape, too. Uh, you can see here. Um, guy has all its detail. It's a little dirty, but okay. So that's that. And then I got this. I'm really happy to have this. And this I know I paid too much for, but I had to have it. And um, this is a crisp, uncirculated bill. Or excuse me, that's not a bill. It's a certi silver certificate. Crisp, uncirculated. It would be gem, but.
but the but the image is not centered. Okay, I'm not an expert on that. It's just that's what I've read. As you can see, oops, this is kind of hard to move it so you can see it. Come on. There we go. Okay, now I want to show I want to point something out to you. If you look in this corner here, there's a little tab of paper sticking off the corner. Oops. Try, trying to get the reflection off there's hard so you see that little corner that little tab of paper right there that could have got knocked off of there just by putting it in this plastic envelope but that shows that it's not been circulated at all okay so this is definitely uncirculated no stains no creases no wrinkles perfect edges yeah this is a really good um I paid maybe like $16 more than what, it, what it's actually worth. Um, and they're not worth that much. There, there was a lot of these uh, printed. so, But I'm happy to have it. Um, I love the certificates, the silver certificates. And here's what I always wanted. I got a good deal on this. Uh, I paid about $3 less than what the book value is. Uh, this is... A little bit of history for you here, if you're not familiar. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to go off of memory. I, I usually do some research on these things before I make a video, but I really needed to get this video out there. I have a ton of stuff to do, so um, I'm going to go off of memory here. Okay, so Hawaii at the time of the Pearl Harbor was bombed was not a state yet. Um, and in the event that... Um, Japan took over Hawaii they made these bills so that um, these circulated on the Hawaiian Islands and <clears throat> the, uh, not in the United States right so these are silver certificates I, I think I just called them a bill it's not a bill it's a certificate um, so if it, in the event the islands were taken over these bills would become obsolete and you could never um, turn them over for, or exchange them for silver or anything. And this was to protect the economy from uh, inflation and, and protect our uh, silver reserves from our enemy, right? Which was Japan at the time. So it's really obvious that these are from for Hawaii purpose only. And uh, there you go. So really happy to have this one. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. Another thing I really want, though, is a um, gold certificate. They're a little bit pricey. So trying to find a good one and um, a, an affordable one is a little bit a little bit tough sometimes. But anyway, so this is my coin show pickups. Uh, I like going to the coin show. Lots of fun. That's where I get all my uh, my dream items, you know, the things I've been trying to collect for a while. I can usually find there. And sometimes you can get deals, a lot of times you can't, so you gotta look for the deals. So, all right, well that about wraps it up. Uh, thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of stuff. I'll talk to you later.